and welcome to the week seven um, OCC recap with me, Cornai, and I think no one else at the moment. Although Danton said he might cut down up, he's not done yet. Um, sorry for the slight delay. I was having some technical issues, which I realised were entirely my own cause causing <laughs> after after searching a bit longer. But anyway, it's fine. I can see the the little uh, you know uh, audio bar now wiggling around. So uh, as no one else is here to chat with me, I'm just going to carry on and do this as quickly as possible. Oh, not quickly as possible, but we'll, we'll get through this. So I'm going to start with 1B, uh, which is my division. And the first game of the week was um, Giraffe's game against Spider. Ah, oh, hello, Guido. How are you? Just finished the RPS match. Ah, oh, do you want to come on and chat? Or just just uh, comment on in the uh, in the text variety. Anyway, first game was uh, giraffe against uh, spiders, lizard, orca, cola, guzzlers, or whatever. What? Oh, that one. Uh, which was one nil to spider. I think I watched this, but I don't really remember what happened. No headset on phone. Yeah, cool. That's fine. Um, I think someone else might be lurking in chat, not talking and listening, but, you know, it's fine. I can do this all by myself. Um, yeah, I can't remember what happened. Can I? Oh, no, I didn't actually watch it. No, I, I did... I had it on, but I, I walked away from the computer while, or, you know, I wasn't actually paying it its full attention, um, I'm afraid. But, yeah. Uh, Spider won, 1-0. Won um, actually, the Undead had more uh, blocks, but less armor breaks. Um, similar removals, but, yeah, looks like, I guess, Spider stopped Giraffe from scoring and Giraffe couldn't stop Spider from scoring. I don't know. Um, did anybody watch that? I don't know. Either way, in terms of predictions, I have a feeling that uh, a few people might be getting points from that one. Here are we. There we go. Uh, yeah, there's lots of bets. Sun drop looking a bit worse for wear. Um, I think he didn't get any... Did he get worse? Uh, Sun Kissed got a movement bust, and Dr. Pepper the second got MNG'd, but Sun Drop remains admittedly movement five and niggled, but still five, six, one, nine, you know, and a blodge tackle, you're not going to turn that down, right? Uh, I mean, this whole team has been gathering injuries on the Saurus at, at quite a rate. I mean, I'm not sure about keeping Jolt the eight. What with his armor bust, niggle, and movement bust. I mean, I know he's agi up, but doesn't Spider has another agi up as well, right? Uh, agi up and block, I guess. Anyway, um, yeah. So the the technical issue I was having before was because I left the um, the properties for predictions open, and apparently you can't change um, sound settings while that's happening so i'd muted myself and then i like why why can't i unmute myself why why is why is the bars not moving anyway um so seven people bet on spider winning that one and those people were a broccoli who gets to 30 danton galentio and guido Oh, uh, and also Philadius, right? Did I see Philadius in there? I did, yeah. Philadius, uh, so he gets up to 11. Philadius, considering he only started a week ago, is I think he would be winning if he actually started at the beginning of the season, just quietly. Uh, and MB Carmack and Spider, uh, Carmack. And spider. 
Cool. Guido's on 101. That's not right. I think that's supposed to uh, be 301. I think it's supposed to be 31. There we are. That's perfect. <laughs> um, all right. So the next game after that is... Um, my game against uh, Papa Nasty in, in, uh, in Cyrillic and his brilliant green... Uh, would be nice. Anyway, I don't know what that's about. Oh, game 301, yeah. Then you definitely win. At this point in the season, pretty much guaranteed. <laughs> um, as you can see, I had an almost similar number of blocks, only a little bit less. But in terms of armor breaks, he absolutely wrecked me. Actually, not so much in the first half. I thought I defended pretty well. Um, I, you know, held him off. For as long as I could, almost stopped him scoring on his drive, but he managed to score. Um, and then uh, I was doing okay, but then there was—I think it was a blitz on 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 my drive in the second half, and uh, and you know, and he based me up with loads of walks, and then all the Norsemen melted, and there was nothing left. Um, I wonder what happened. Is this better or worse? Uh, that's worse. All right, fine. Um, so yeah, so I ran up the, the sideline in a vain attempt to score, but, uh, still loads of bread dice and one D's to get anywhere and roll too many skulls and it, everything tied. Uh, it wasn't nothing, nothing permanent. I mean, oh yeah, dead, uh, blood step, sure hands runner, but you know, you only had normals. It's fine. Uh, niggled, uh, niggled berserker. He had zero SPP, so I don't care about him either. He's just going to be turned into glue at some point um and two more spp on the uh uh on the my favorite wolf winner so that's all right uh but yeah it was it, it was close in the first half and not very close in the second half um the orcs just orked me for this in the second half it was horrific um and i think there were probably quite a few people who, yes there were indeed eight people who uh who bet on um, the brilliant green. I don't know why I'm doing this alphabetical when I'm doing it for myself, but Broccoli gets one. Uh, Danton gets one. Oh, MB Carmack. No, okay. So, uh, Danton gets one. He's on 36. Philodeus? No, Ethel. Ethel makes it to 30. Boo. Then Philodeus on 12. Then Galentio, Guido, and Ratamo, and Spider. It's fine. You're right to bet against me. Spider reaching 40. Jesus. And Ratamo gets to 30. Well, most other people are on 30. All right. And, the, you know, that's enough said about that game, frankly. All right, um, so the next game after that is Galentio's game, 2-3 against Crunky Chops. Um, I am pretty certain Galentio said something, some, had some choice words about this. May involve the dicing, may, have, may, may involve the word dicing, I'm not certain. I don't think it involved the word dicing, but you know. I liked it. No, he didn't say anything. In Oh, yes, he did, yeah, yeah. Ended first half winning 2-1. Uh, second half was blitz into all the dice to steal the ball. And I just proceeded to have a snake from turn 12. Uh, yeah, so he had, in, he, had four he had four snakes, turn 12 to turn 16. Got to a point where I felt like I was not playing anymore. Also, 92% blood gloss success and double skulled attempt to stall a bit on to 3-2 and ended the game with four players on the field this is why I'm going to start playing Elf Union if I have no armor luck I better play a team that has a trade-off for not having armor that's exactly what I believe Galentio um, anyway yeah I like playing the low armor teams because at least when they die you, you, you know you just you expect it it's fine Um, but who thought that Crunky Chops would win this game? 
um, four people. He did have loners, and they're like steel. Of course, yeah, yeah. The the loners are fine. It's only uh, uh, oh, it's got Dolphar as well. Dolphar's terrible, but you know, fine. I don't know what he's complaining about. No perms. Just because half your team leave the pitch shouldn't stop you winning. Yeah. Um, and the vampires nicely spread their SPP around as well. Uh, I have this vampire team next week, or this coming week, in a few days, I think, in fact. Um, oh, I forgot which one's which. I have to check again. All right, so Conky Chops, okay, yeah, fine, had Belladius, Broccoli, Ratamo, and Guido. And I'm sorry if I said that wrong, but I'm not changing it now. Uh, Ladius. Ladius just gets all the points. Guido. Is that better? Bit of Guido. Uh, Ratamo. And that is it. All right, cool. No MB on the vamps. Yeah, I know, but like... Mighty Blow doesn't have that much of an effect. You can cast people just by randomly blocking them, right? It's only like it's only a sixth more likely to, to be removed with with Mighty Blow, basically. Something like that. I think it's a sixth. I don't know, I'm not oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, no mighty blow on the vamps. But, but but lots of block, and if you end up having to or if they end up basing you and they because they like I actually I really like playing vamps where it's not so much the hypno gazing, it's the having six players who are strength six kind of just and mostly blodge and maybe even blodge step standing, you know, just like stand them next to your opponent's players and you know, even if you get a few blocks against them, they're gonna get more blocks back at you and that can be worse. Just, you know, weight of dice. I don't know. Yeah, blodge step. I mean, anyway, but you know, enough theory bowling. Um, the next match is Alessis's Fire Emblem Awakening against Kingdom of Swadia, Count Mathis, and two one to Count Mathis. Have I lost the internet? Are you still there? Uh, Spike doesn't seem to want to show me that page. I, don't, I think you're all still there. Uh, it says live. have had problems with the internet earlier today where it just dropped out. So, uh, well, oh, I can't, you know, aha. Yep, you're still there, okay. Maybe we could just look at it in uh, in Blood Bowl 2 for now. Up until, I've got an idea, then I can, oh, there we are. The moment I, I get it up in, in Blood Bowl 2, if you excuse the phrase, um, the page loads. All right. Um, a dead loner talking about loners jesus look at all these loners um mng nothing nothing permanent nothing exciting no levels no just two one to the brett's um and quite a lot of people bet on this for the Bretts. Bretts are a good cat. Yeah, look, like usually what I say is hybrid teams. You know, it's like the the circle, the the rock paper scissors of, of Blood Bowl is. Uh, you know, hybrid teams beat agi teams, agi teams beat kill teams, and kill teams beat hybrid teams. So Bretts, humans, Norse, you expect them to punch elves until they're not a problem. Um, and still be able to keep up with them a bit, still be almost fast enough, you know, still be agile enough to play the ball. Whereas you expect elves to just dance around the bash teams a bit, and then you expect the bash teams to just murder the hybrid teams because they probably stop them from. They're not good enough at dodging and ball handling to get away from them. But you know, in my opinion. Um, so. 
Broccoli, again, got a point. Danton also got a point. This is like the opposite of, the, of lunchtime where no one was getting points. Um, Broccoli, Danton, Carmack. Maybe no one bet on, on Ethelred's division, that's why. <laughs> uh, Galentio, Ratmo, and me. So that's... Galentio gets to 40. I get to 27. And Ratmo gets to 32. Um, okay. And the last game of the week was Dalibor's Dark Side Evolution against Javelin's Wolves of the Cala. Um, and it was a draw. 1-1 one, one draw. Score a board, score board draw or something? I can't remember what they call that anyway. Um, wow. Dalibor didn't get many SPP from this. But nothing died, I guess. And neither did... The Wolves. Wow. Dalibor got one more SPP than the Wolves did. Oof. Actually, I guess he got way more because that's a... That doesn't mean it. That's a just lost SPP, isn't it? Anyway. Uh, so, five people bet on the draw. And they were in Alphabetical Order. Broccoli, Danton, Ethelred, Philodeus. Broccoli, not... Carmack, Danton, Ethelred, Philodeus, and Spider. Cool. And that completes the points getting for the, the predictions. And we will come back to that when we do champs. Um, but now let's have a look at the coming week. Um, as I've slightly changed sides because I haven't made them exactly the same. Anyway, uh, and that can go out of the way now. All right, so in terms of the coming week, first game is Giraffe against Alessis's Fire Emblem Awakenings. So uh, not quite Giraffe. 170 Undead. Did she lose some stuff? No, she didn't lose anything against uh, Spider, did she? Oh, hello, Carmack. How are you? Um, you, you. I mean, you, I'm happy to hear. Oh no, wait. No, we did. We did your division this morning. Yes, I am all alone. Would you like to come and chat, or is it is it uh, quiet time in your house? But yeah, all right, fine. Um, so giraffe is down to twelve players. Um, seventeen ten. Against Alessis's 1790 Dark Elf theme. Still missing a lot though, so he's actually way more than that too. So he's got three loners. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, no, I know. I understand. I actually have a small child. Well, not that small. Quite a large child in that direction. Uh, so I think if you hear a, a squeaking chair sound, that's him rocking while he watches YouTube or plays computer games. But anyway. Um, yeah, so uh, Alessis' team is 1790, uh, but he will have three loners, so it's actually going to be exactly 2000. Yep. So 2000 TV Dark Elves against 1710 Undead. And so far, Giraffe has not won a game and is quite grumpy at Blood Bowl generally. Yeah. Uh, actually, next week's going to be really good for me as well. Next week, I am going to be child-free for a whole week as well. So, um, party. Cool. Nice to, nice to see you. Is it going to be a drinking stream next week, then? Uh, yeah, I guess it can be if you want. Hey, Ethel, how are you? I'm good. I thought I'd pop in. You felt, felt sorry for me sitting here chatting to myself all the time. I thought you were doing really well. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, it's always a drinking stream. <laughs> uh, you might, I, I might have turned you down too much at lunchtime because of the, the volume thing I told you about. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, that's, anyway. that's too loud. Jesus. God. Okay. Um, Keep talking. 
one B. Yeah. So Guido says, Guido says, Guido says, can we look at the amount of tackle on the undead team? The giraffe, not quite giraffes. Giraffe has three tackle. Both White. both whites with mighty blow have tackle. And a blodge tackle. But yeah, missing that goal, huh? Um, uh, I mean, which is not awful, yeah. is it? Against what I'm guessing is a lot of blodge step on the dark elves, it's probably safer not to have a a frenzy, right? Frenzy against yeah. blodge step, not a good combination. Not Actually, really. only only three side steppers, and two of them have fend. So yeah, story of fend. Dark. Oh, this is Alessis's um, insane AG and strength at Dark Elf team, isn't it? Yeah, I looked at it. I was like, oh look, they must have all healed since last week because they're almost eighteen hundred. But no, they're actually a two thousand TV Dark Elf team with three loners, um, oh. which is just ridiculous. I mean, that's pretty peak wood, uh, Dark Elf in it there, really. Yeah, uh, yeah, it is. I mean, it's 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 yeah, it's seriously peak. That's just ridiculous. Three strength four, two strength five, two actually five. Yeah, where's the lessest in the league? Because um, he should be top. He's not doing that well. He's uh, so this is actually kind of almost a three pointer, right? Whoever, if if giraffe won this, she would be equal with the lessest. Right. Okay. Which, consi so which considering how unhappy bottom. with her season <clears throat> she is, that you know that's quite saying something. I think. God, imagine having that team and only getting three draws. <laughs> Maybe it's hard oh. to win up in the, the top tier. Oh, I can't be that hard. Anyway, or penultimate tier. Tier one. Tier one. Yeah. So I take it, are you going? have you already gone with the Dark Elves? Um, I'm going to show solidarity with Giraffe now because oh. uh, her season has gone so badly, I'm now kind of like willing her to do well. Do you uh, know what I mean? A sympathy, a sympathy vote. <laughs> you have to make it sound quite so bad, but yeah, essentially, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. Similarly, I I want her to do well. I know she's a good coach. I've seen her play play well. Uh, it's it's there's this weird circular thing where her her unhappiness, I think, just makes yeah, her make it, it. it's ruining her mentality. So, you know, I think she when she was, you know, when she was carefree and not thinking about the past. It was all fine, but you know, these things happen, right? Yeah, it's part of the culture of the game to get over the the troughs, isn't it? Really? Yeah, and she streams, and uh, and then like really annoying people come on and say things like, "Oh, why did you do that? That was stupid," and that makes her unhappy. Oh, that's gonna be the worst. Yeah, they're dicks, aren't they? Um, <laughs> I mean, like, I can't help myself. I, I just, you know. I, th I actually think that the fact that she complains about how she's doing at the moment makes me want to to backseat more. Like I feel like you know I feel like when someone says, "Oh, I'm playing really badly," it makes me want to go. Well, maybe you should try doing this. this these are some answers. I want to try and fix it. Um, and that invariably. I think there's a time and a place for that, and I think that's post game, not yeah. mid game. Yeah. Well, you see. Think... I... Yeah. Because yeah. if they, if she's anything like me, I was about to, I was um, about to say you know, I think maybe streaming with you has made me worse because like obviously our streams are entirely involved with me going that was shit why did you do that <laughs> I, I kind of I've got into the habit of doing that now. <laughs> yeah, I see. I don't I don't mind it after I don't well, I don't it it it's hard. Mm. I don't I don't mind it after the turn when I can't do anything about it, but. I, sometimes it's not. I'm just not receptive to being told straight away, especially if I know I've made a mistake. Yeah, do you yeah. Know what I mean? Well, that's, what that's the assumption. That's, that's the assumption. Sometimes is that you're suggesting something, and I, I've, I've, I've already seen and know it. Uh, but you don't need to point it out because I, I know it, kind of thing. Yeah, do you know what I mean. I mean, but for me, that's the best time, right? That is the most fun. <laughs> <laughs> and for the audience, I think as well, right? I think as long as you're not crying, as long as it, like, so I actually feel really guilty about about giraffes streams and i i honestly i hate myself when i 
when I make a comment like that, and I, I really feel bad about it afterwards. But there's just well, there's something. It, yeah, you, yeah, you say that. I also, you know, she also streams late at night after I've been drinking. So you know, my my self control, like my self control, is is uh, nil when it comes to not not being a mouthy git, basically. Hmm. But yeah, I feel guilty about it. Um, anyway, such is life. And moving on, yeah. So I've I've gone for a draw, and not a draw because I'm sympathetic with Giraffe, but because I I honestly believe she has the ability to win games. It's just you know she, she just needs to to not freak out quite as much. Like I think her, yeah, like it's weird. I think it's not it's nothing to do with her ability at Blood Bowl. It's to do with entirely mental things outside of Blood Bowl. If, or you know you know not it's not to do with yeah. where you're choosing to place things it's to do with yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's interacting it's the... with the chat and then and think and overthinking things and all that kind of stuff and yeah um yeah. it's a hard it's a hard skill and you know it's it is hard to stream because your kind of thought process are all out there and you are open for criticism and when you do make mistakes we all make mistakes no one, no one ever plays a perfect game um there's some you know some guy in a pink shirt ready to point it out to you you know I mean, you know, it's, it's it. You know, th th there is a reason why I hardly stream games live, right? It's, I, I, I feel that pressure. On, I put that pressure on myself as well, right? When I'm, when I'm, if I stream my own games, I'm also often being quite harsh to myself. But I think I am pretty good at, at then leaving it behind. But I, the reason I don't like streaming is because I'm, I'm nervous that I will, you know, crumble into a pile of 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 tears at some point when something goes wrong. You know. I'll, well, I'll be I'll be there to clip that for you when you do. <laughs> Excellent. When it does happen. <laughs> how, to, how to make it go viral? <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Dalibor versus Glentio. Oh. Um. So Dalibor. Uh, words. Something is team Dark Elves. There he is. Uh, Eighteen ninety Dark Elves. Dark Side Evolution OCC. Dark, yeah, there you go. That's what I was looking for. Been around a long time. Not that long, but oh yeah, wow. Look at that record though, fifty to thirteen. Um uh but yeah, so eleven players, eighteen ninety, that's pretty good. Yeah. Pidey. Indeed. Pardon me. Oh I had a Chinese it was lush, but ate too much. Feel sick. What what did you have? Um, like a mixed starters thing, and then pork balls and um, spicy, you know, deep fried beef stuff. You know where it's all where it's kind of crunchy, crunchy deep fried. And don't tell me you were full, but you finished it off. Uh, we haven't finished it off yet, no. But oh, I, I am full. I am Go full, and then ate more, and I will eat more after the stream. Great. I, I I basically I stopped myself because I was like, I'm going to stream now. I need to try and not eat too much. Um, yeah, I think eating's the worst thing to do, isn't it? Yeah, because now I'm 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 a bit gassy, even more more gassy than, more than usual, usual. Even yeah, wow, wow. Um, <laughs> well, this is a great again. It's a, it's a week for great dark elf teams, and this is another great one. A mm -hmm. bit more red on this one, but I mean solid. That witch elf eight four four seven is uh, pretty tidy. And Galenti is on the second page, and he is sixteen hundred high elves. But he's... Yeah, he's um, his team has taken a bit of a battering, hasn't it? Uh, uh, well, no, it was um, it was someone else's before. I've forgotten who it was. It was uh, with the G. Oh no, with the C. Kinroth with a K. Kinroth. Yeah, Kinroth, yeah. the Floridian. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the what that basically you know he's still got what five guard players and actually five, mm. and you know. A couple, a catcher, who's good, and a catcher who's not good. Lol. Um, oh, so, you know, that means that that's like a... So, Spike, um, that, that's like odds. So those are the three, yeah. the three possibilities. Uh, and the lower the number, the more likely that Spike thinks it is to happen. So Dalibor thinks that... Uh, sorry, so Spike thinks that Dalibor is going to win... Uh, and then a draw is the next most likely outcome, and then Galentio is the least most likely outcome, right? Um, and it works this out through a combination of two things, which is the coach's individual win rate overall. So, like, every, like, G Dalibor's entire win rate versus Galentio's entire win rate. And it also compares the two races. So, it 
compares all the actually so what it actually does is it has uh, it, at some point in time spike got given a a, a, a set of all the the ccl games mm-hmm. and uh you know that was the and and it takes the win rate between dark elves and high elves and adds it into the maths right okay yeah oh yeah. there you go oh look ethel's got the map got the actual uh link to it so it's a combination of two so sometimes the betting means that one team one race trounces the other and it's not to do with the coach win rate i have a feeling that that differential differential is because dalibor's win rate is ridiculous his his i think his spike record is like 70 80 percent 75 yeah he's something like he's that. kind of good isn't he yeah he is well and also i think he plays in a lot of long leagues where he might have had some less good opponents as well maybe like he does play a bit of ccl but i don't think it's that much and CCL can be a bit more, a bit less forgiving. Like you're more likely to get harsh matchups, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I don't know. He is a good, he's a very good coach, though. And possibly because of that, six people have um, bet on Dalibor, including yourself. Um, me and Broccoli have gone for a draw, largely because I clicked really quickly this morning without looking. Uh, and one person has gone for Glencio. Is that actually Galentio that is, himself? That is indeed Galentio himself, yes. That's exactly where I was going with that. Next sentence, but yeah. Um, I was thinking about changing my bet, but I think I think a draw is a possibility, right? Between yeah, I mean, I think both the elf teams can always score, can't they? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, um, Galentio's hmm? getting on with these as well, isn't he? These are... Um, what race are these? They're high, aren't they? Yeah, the high elves, yeah. Yeah. The worst of the elves. The worst? I mean... Mm. Is, that, is that from a dark elf perspective? Is that what you're saying? Well, just out of all of them, they're the worst ones. That's a combination of play style and also fun. Interesting. Uh, removal power on either team. I did not. Oops, did not look at that. Yeah, I mean, it's um, it's not too bad. Um, Dark Side Evolution OCC have got quite. Uh, he's got at least one mighty. Yeah. Uh, but then so is Galentio. He's so. got yeah. He's got one mighty blow, which is the wit, the strength four witch as well. So, mm. um, possible um, you know, frenzy trap going on. Uh, but I mean, other... po- possibly. I mean, strength four, so it's less. Less likely. Perhaps. Yeah, but there are five guarders on this team, right? Uh, Glentio has one mighty blow and also guard blitzer. Yeah, yeah. My my own dislike, mislike of the high elves is just my, you know, it's just me. Um, okay. I don't get on with them. Yeah, I, I actually, you know, I I pretty much like all the elves. There's, I I find I would find it difficult to rank any any of them in anything which is not just yeah. objective if that makes sense you know like yeah so... yeah no yeah yeah I, I i like i prefer elf teams to any other team um i've got to say I'm a, but i think high elves are the ones i like least but i still like high elves more than any other bash team i used to really hate high elves because of the <laughs> noise they do <laughs> that is quite which, annoying, which is kind of irritating uh yeah. but then i then i played them in rps and i i actually quite enjoy the team now and i've learned to accept the stupid noises yeah. I, think once, it, well, I think I think high elves haven't clicked for me. You know, when you, you think, right, I know, I'm confident how this team plays. Mm, I'm uh, pretty, yeah, I'm pretty confident about no, how. I haven't done that. I don't think there's a single team I would say I don't feel confident with. No. Oh, Necro. I'm terrible with Necro. That's my worst yeah. team. Weirdly. I, I, I like the kickoff throw um, because it just shows how posh they are. It's like, I'm not going to kick it. I'll just throw it to you. Yeah, well, they they they're throwing this. You know, they're supposed to be the greatest throwers in the game, right? Literally. So yeah. kickoff throws makes perfect sense. Yeah. Um, but talking of necro, and in no way purely was that just a uh, segue. Segue. But the next game is Javelins Wolves of the Cala. Yeah, that was mm-hmm. that was uh, uh, grammatically correct. Right? Um, against uh, the orcs of uh, a brilliant green coached by. The Cyrillic uh, Papanasty. Uh, uh, I yeah. keep I keep specifying the Cyrillic Papanasty because there is a an, an English language Papanasty out there. Right. Well, thanks for the clarity. It's more it's more um, it's more my own brain that that just needs to do that because it's dead to different people, right? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's solid, isn't it? 
two thousand like, Jav's Jav's high quite high up in the division, isn't he? I think yeah. from memory. I mean a two thousand and fifty T V I mean Necro are a pretty uh you know, can be a pretty trim race. They're one of those ones where they can be seventeen hundred and have everything they want. Mm. So this is this is, you know this is a big Necro team. Yeah. Um and the Orcs are also the big orcs, right? Where are they? There they are. Yeah, Twenty-one and seventy. Quite scary. Yeah. And, Pap- and Papa's top, isn't it? I think from memory. Yeah. In fact, this this might well be a uh, battle of the um, what, one and two. One first and, and two. Second. Uh, no, it's not. No, no. Javelin is fourth. In fact. All oh, right. But yeah, the, the orcs are indeed top by quite some way. Um, but Javelin gets a wizard. Have you played uh, Papa? Yeah, he was my last game, and he absolutely wrecked me. He's, he's, but he's good, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, like, I almost stopped him on his drive. Um, but then in the second half, he got a blitz, and, and I could ah, score, it. and that was it. Yeah, yeah I, I, I think I saw you not scoring at the end of your first half. Uh, pos- what not not getting a one turn? You mean? I did, yeah. I did was go- it a one turn attempt? Yeah, yeah, that was a one turn attempt. Of course, it was a one turn. Right. Hmm. Oh no, the one turn attempt. Yeah. So I had to do the pass before I did the actual stuff, and I couldn't, and I didn't have a reroll, so I couldn't like get the ball to the the to uh, Cheney. I think it was I was trying to score with. I think I can't remember exactly. Still no troll. No, no troll. He doesn't need it. He's got enough strength and guard and all that other hmm. stuff. Yeah, uh, that's probably what makes this team the guard, isn't it, really, I'd say. Uh, Orcs should have loads of guard, and this is not failing to get it, right? Mm. There's two players who don't have it. I mean, DP's fine, Three. but armor nine everywhere, apart from the goblin. Yeah. So, less, less effective. Uh, yeah, but Javelin has claw. And a wizard. But not Claw Mighty. Mm. Or one Claw Mighty, isn't it? Actually? Yeah, one Claw Mighty. Wow. He's got that he's gotta be a good boy this week. Get get do the work, hasn't he? And quite a lot of guard. Look at that, you know. Mm. Not a bad amount of guard for a an or, a not an orc team. Well I've gone I've gone Papa. Although I wish mm. Javelin the best. I've gone for a draw again because I just did it quickly without thinking. I I, I don't want to Vote on the Orcs after they just beat me as well. <laughs> hmm. um, okay, so next, uh, talking of uh, top of the table, Count Mathis and his Brett is in fact in second place after the green, uh, the brilliant green. Nice, yeah. Yeah, and uh, he's playing against Spider. Oh. So, 15-50 Bretts missing... Missing their Agi 4 Blitzer and another uh, Lineman. So there's actually only 11 of them. They do have some cash though, so you could buy a couple more Linemen just to, to bulk yeah. out the team. Bulk it out. Uh, um... Against 1840 Lizards? That sounds like hmm. Spider's missing a couple. Of... He is indeed missing a couple of Lizards. Look at that. Let's have a look. I mean, this kind of matchup favours the Bretts anyway, doesn't it? That's another movement. Oh, yeah, there was a movement bus in MNG. I remember that now. Oh, so that's awful. Two missing Saurus, and they're both blodgers. And he's, and he's TV up as well, right? The Bretts, uh, yeah, yeah. So, so in fact, wait a second. One, two. Um, so, yeah, uh, the Lizards are actually on uh, a 1900. So the Bretts will get... Um, at approximately uh, 350. Mm. Bribes, that'll be. Well, you know, I'd buy a player or two. I still I still like having a wizard. I think, you know, wizards win games, right? Yeah. And then a bribe. He's got no dirty player. Maybe he gets a dirty player, peasant. Foolish. Oh, or a bludge blitzer. Get a, get a Merc Blitzer. Give him dodge. Yeah, it might be all right. 
Probably not. I mean, right. Again, Spider's got a bit of an uphill struggle here because I think Brett's can cope with lizards quite well, can't they? Really? There's the old. Um, oh, they've got Dauntless. They can they can Dauntless the Sauruses away. Uh, you know, this isn't a normal um, you know lizard team, though, is it? Um, and Spider is good coach. He is good, but um, only At... three of the only three of the Sauruses have got block. At the moment, um, the betting. Is very oh, heavily in Spider's favour. Really? So, so actually, so look, they're within the points. This is second against third, and at the moment there are, or there were five bets for Spider, and a couple of draws. You have just changed your bets to be for Hello? for Cat Mathers, haven't you? Because that was zero. There was only one, and that was I Spike made, second ago. I've made, yeah, I've made my bet oh, for okay. Cat Mathers. Fine. Um, I think it's got Cat Mathers written all over it. I mean. Spider's good and all, but I think Mathas can handle this lizard team. Mm. Don't you think? Uh, I'm sticking with my bet with Spider. I think Sp Spider can win this. It's going to be tough, though, isn't it? Spider is, yeah. It's a real six-pointer as well. Actually, I'm changing my bet to a draw. You know, play it safe. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, because Sp Spider famously plays it safe, doesn't he? He doesn't do any unnecessary actions before trying to score. So no. Yeah. I guess well... that makes sense. Hmm. Yes, indeed. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Gino says, uh, "Actually, four skinks. He could cut one to trim TV. He could cut the really beaten up one. If he if he got rid of the." The uh, movement armor niggled one, which is 190 TV and probably a bit of a liability in this game. Yeah. Where he's only going to have four sources and a croxigal. Yeah, Jolt might I mean, have to go on the line, might he? Or be hittable. I'm not even sure that's worth it, right? Because he'd still be he'd still be at 1640. So, like, Cat Mathis would still get 90 TV of inducements and has enough bank to make it up to something interesting. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, AG4 skinks can always do something, can't they? Um, before they inevitably leave the pitch. So, yeah. you might as well die on the pitch. Ooh, I just thought of something. Ooh. Willow? Nuffle Alter. Count Mathis has a Nuffle Alter, and he's at home. Ooh, so we could see... Yeah, Willow be a good one in this one, wouldn't she? Well, I'm assuming that, you know, uh, she has Dauntless as well for a strength four player. Mm -hmm. she, Will, Willow could beat up, um, what's his name? Coca-Cola boy. Uh, Sundrop. Yeah. Well, she's only strength four, isn't she? Yeah, but she got, she's got she got Dauntless. So what's that? A three plus? Yes, three plus. But isn't um, Sundrop also Blodge? And she hasn't got even got Blodge. All right, fine, whatever. <laughs> That's a role reversal there. <laughs> I was not entirely being serious with the idea of uh, Dauntlessing her um, sun drop with a. Just merely suggesting it was a possibility. Yeah. Anyway. You should get, you should get a saw anyway. No, definitely shouldn't get a saw against lizards. That's a terrible idea. Uh, yeah, no, it's a terrible idea. No, or is it just what Spider wouldn't expect? Because, it, I mean, they're sometimes doing what is unexpected and it ends up being good. And they're sometimes doing what is unexpected and it's unexpected because it's such a terrible idea you should never do it. And that's what saws are, in my opinion. Except I saw... Um, who's that goblin coach? Uh, Yudlager. Yud. I saw him playing Yudlager. goblins. Oh, my God, what he can do with a saw is amazing. Like His ability to protect his saw in a goblin team, which is like, you know... The entire team is melting around his ears, and he still protects the saw. is is impressive. Oh, hey, Inarian. Inarian, OCC legend. Yep, still going strong. Yep, uh, season. It's on the screen. Twenty six of Blood Bowl two. I re I remember your name is somewhere in the in the champions winners at some point, wasn't it? With Wood Elves, maybe. I guess I remember. Yeah, uh, yeah? I think so. Mm -hmm. I can check while you do some filler well but, yeah well not not so much filler as in the actual purpose of the show which is we're going to look at um the last uh matchup of this week for this division uh which is in fact my game crunky chops serial sinkers against 
my north. So uh, that's 1920 of vampires uh, with 14 players, two movement sevens and an anti five, and a and a blood step tackle diving tackle, which is pretty scary. Fr frankly, they're all pretty scary. Mm. Four re rolls and a leader, and they are at home. Uh, security gate against my fit poor weak 1500 Norsemen who lost their ball carrier last week Which doesn't bode well against vampires so yeah I'm betting for myself but I have a feeling I'll be uh, in the minority Carmack is bet with me as well that's very kind of him oh, that's nice of him isn't it yeah. evening evening Arian um you, are you going to be streaming soon in Arian with your uh, playing some with David Gray or cold play in the background? <laughs> There's actually been a lot of cold play just talk going on in blood in the Blood Bowl land recently. Why is that? I don't know. People keep mentioning it on on streams. Uh, oh, what? I mean, it was it was mentioned in, in uh, Elliot's stream and it's mentioned in Jimmy's stream. Maybe it's maybe it's someone mentioned it once and now it's being mentioned everywhere. I don't know. No, oh, we're doing it. not yet. We're doing it here now. Yeah. Um, yeah, your team looks sparse. Yep. It is sparse. That's why. <laughs> uh, I will be getting, what, 420? 420, dude. 420, uh, dude. Um, of well, to celebrate, you should just spend it all on... Um... Well, Jamaica's it's, finest. It's, it's, and, it's, uh, it's, that affects your gameplay. It's all Coca-Cola. It's all green, right? Lol. Yeah. Uh, waiting for BB3. Might get back to streaming then. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Guido says, mm. enough to induce another player with tackle or a player with guard, perhaps? Uh, I could do. Or I could get a wizard, bomber, and Cheney like I do every other week. Yeah, I think that's your strategy, isn't it? Your go-to. Yeah. Um, and then I will throw one bomb with, with Bomber. Uh, he will blow up, kill a Norseman and irritate me, and then I'll remember not to hit him hit with him again. Yeah, or Javelin says uh, Willem and Zara is a, a dream team. Yeah, I like the idea of having a wizard, though. So, um, although maybe against vampires, maybe it's not so... Yeah, no, no, it is worth it. I need the wizard in case he ends up, you know, holding on to, to uh, the ball with... Mm. Start strength. Is it the strength six? No, Wizard no. Team? He's not actually. He's, uh, he's not actually got any strength up vampires. They're just movement and energy, just movement up. Um, but movement up is, I think, the best stat on vampires, and energy is a close second. Yeah. Um, and lots of pro and lots of re rolls. Which is what he has. Yeah. So I'm probably going to lose because basically. Bamps are really good against slightly slower bash teams, and Norse are a slower bash team. But has um, has Crunky had his um, destroyed his own team game yet? I mean, that's what you're kind of hoping for, isn't it? Yeah, or you mean just where he rolls so many ones, he eats himself. Yeah. Yeah. Not Pop will eat itself, Crunky will eat himself. But Crunky will that's eat himself, yeah. For. Uh, yeah, that's what everyone hopes for when they play against vampires. It, it usually doesn't happen. No. It does happen sometimes, but not very often. Well, is that, well again, it's, it's, what we've discussed here on here at Infinitum, which is hoping your opponent rolls skulls. Yeah. That, that can't be ever your A game. Yes, it? indeed. <laughs> but vampires are so tough for slower teams, and I am not yeah. playing a fast team. I might I might even score quickly with Cheney, actually. Talking of, I guess he gives me move well, eight. why not? He? Well, I mean, there are, there's loads of reasons why not, but, you know. I'm going for myself. Uh, Carmack believes in me, but everyone else has voted either for a draw or the vampires, which I think is probably saner. Yeah. So, you know, fine. You can change it any time until um, the game. The game starts, yeah. Although, oh, I'd rather you didn't. Wait. Yeah, I'd rather it didn't because, uh, well, it'd be impossible to police. Yeah. Because we police it so carefully at the moment. That's, that is true, actually. Um, we've, got a, we've got a man, haven't we, who comes in, does it uh, for us? Yeah, like, make jokes, but I, I'm, I'm pretty close to having a bot that could could actually pick up on emotes and 
therefore you know keep track oh, keep track of do, people's do it all ratings. automatically yeah that's, that, that's my plan yeah we'll get on get on it yeah but yeah you, on it. yeah you know you can change now nah, that's fine now change from draw to bounce unless you remove enough thralls now you, you can't have any no no clauses in your betting i'm afraid but yeah change to bounce that's fine with me Adam. i'm not gonna uh complain uh yeah, that, that... Could... yeah go on we could say we could do side side betting etc but again that's more admin load which like, i don't think either has got capacity for well we practically don't do what we're supposed to do already right so you know <laughs> <laughs> there's no point adding more jeez uh, uh anyway that's the table for 1b great at the moment orcs at the top as we said brett's lizards as we said jab fourth then the vampires how, how are you feeling uh, what about being sixth, or yeah. generally in the, uh, you know? I, you think you're gonna stay in the stay in one B? I think you're quite likely to stay in one B, aren't you? I'm always, I'm usually quite optimistic. Ash, no, you're right. It's pretty unlikely that I go up, isn't it? I, no, I don't I would, think you'll go up. I, I, I need to win I don't this. I think you'll go down. If I either. win this, then it gives me a better chance, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, wait a second. That's what I'm looking for. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I'm probably going I'm probably staying whatever. Oops. Uh Alright. I just knocked my headphones off. Nice. Yeah. Alright. So champs. Champs. Um look at all these levels. Uh anyway. We're not actually gonna oh, use that. It's not fair. It's not fair. All these all these good coaches getting level ups. Disgusting. Okay, so the first. Looks like they know how to play. Is... All right, so the first game of the week is uh, Guido's game. In fact, the Elder Children against the Silver Lords of Outlaw. Yeah. Uh, which is now on the no, screen. And was that an admin? No, I don't think four-one is usually an admin result. No, <laughs> that's true. Um, both with the same high elf badge, which has been confusing us no end in the recaps. Yeah. The number of times we've looked at the wrong thing. And also that's the same with Carmack and that that you did that at lunchtime today, but they both got the same badge. Oh yeah, I did mix them up tonight. Yeah. yeah. Nope, says Guido. Not yeah, uh, to, as in to not, my uh, admin yeah, yeah, yeah. Question, I'm guessing. So who's who's a oh, nice spread of scores on four different players, that's what we'd like yeah. to see. Shane one of them was a was a legend already, but all the others yeah. need the the SPP. Can you keep talking for a second? Of course. Yeah, go um, on. So um, let's have a look at the, uh, the stats as Cornet scrolls down uh, when he needs to scroll back up so I can see how many blocks Sorry. there were. Uh, but I Sorry. should have it somewhere on my tab, so I could probably look on that. Okay, but I'm back. I'm back. Sorry there we that. go. That's right. Um, scroll up. Uh, uh, Guido says he got lucky and didn't even one turn. His opponent did. Ah, oh, okay. So that one, that one touchdown for Gimlick was a one turn, mm. but the four others were, were not. No, well, I imagine some stealing. Ah, uh... oh, so the the legend who was a, a sad loss of SPP uh, is going for top scorer, so must score in each game. Lol. Lol. Uh, cool. And Galentio, who is in Gimlick's team, is the one turner. Much to Galentio's annoyance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that was uh yeah, well well played. Who um was there, another betting? Was there, one? was there a wizard in this, by the way, Guido? Uh do I want to know the betting? Yeah, go on then. You're gonna tell me what the betting is, so I don't need to look. Yeah. Or, so oh, I, I guess you. I should show it then. There it is, yeah. Yeah. Uh Broccoli. This is bet who bet on uh, Guido to win, right? Yeah. So, Broccoli. Yep. Uh, Phil Philadeus. Mm hmm. Galentio. Yep. Uh, Guido himself. Or of, themselves. Of, of course. And Aratamo. Uh, Wizard Stadium. My Wiz killed his one turn of Apo saved him. Uh... Oh. Um, okay, cool. Done. Anything Done. else to say? 
Not yeah. really. Four ones, pretty good. Well yeah. done. All right. So the next one is Andy's Justice Philippe against Wolfbarks. Um, Warpstone Watchers. Yeah. Uh, I was surprised to see this was a draw. Yeah. Not and so so was so was so was everyone apart from one person, who was uh, Danton. Ah. Oh. But uh, two two. That's a good result. For both teams, really. Yeah. What? How many Kazes did uh, Andy receive? The the ballerina score, of course. Yes. <laughs> uh, um, Everyone works that out. Yeah, uh, Wolfbark uh, got three and and caused a death. I think the death was. Oh no, the death is a Garda. That's kind of annoying. Oh, although ouch. he does still have two more Gardas, so ah, plenty of. Uh... Geez, that. That was a, just a movement up catcher only a little while ago, and now it's a movement guard and agi up catcher. Wow, this. That's what indeed. happens when you uh, spread the SPP about, and Guido says it was an Andy one turn on turn 16. So so uh, Wolfbark played better, basically. Is that what you're saying? That's essentially what he's saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Andy saved by the one-turner. No yeah. skill. Um and uh, you know, got they he got skitter in, and the goblin died, but no one cared. No one cared about the poor goblin. Nope. Uh, and we've done the betting, so I guess moving on. Moving on, yeah. Not many uh, betting on that one. Uh, we've got it right, I should say. Yeah. So next is Gelbeck's humans against Danton's humans, and I think this was. I think this was a this was an admin, wasn't this it? This was indeed an admin result. Yes. Uh, Gelbeck disappeared from from OCC. Uh, it's during the summer. He maybe he's on holiday and he couldn't. He doesn't want to, you know. Yeah. Which I know. I don't. Don't particularly want to be on the. Um, uh, you know. I don't want to. Well, yeah. My, well, my season's finished now because I'm not going to have a chance to play any more the rest of my games. Yeah. But... I can't believe you don't have a laptop, Jesus. Anyway. <laughs> Slacker. How you know? Just just. What? Le leaving Blood Bowl alone for three weeks. It's just, I don't understand how you can do it. Glorious. Uh, anyway, next is Birmingham. Yeah. Uh, old one, DB. Bam. Yeah. Because they're actually known. Against Nibbon's Motivation Squad. Oh, now this was Dash versus Bash. What? Dark Elves versus Chorfs, wasn't it? Yeah. Dash. Yeah. Dash, oh, Dash. versus Bash. Oh, I think you said Bash versus Bash. I was like, what? Oh. No. Okay, fine. Yeah. Oh, Gelbeck. Yeah, go. Yeah. He's around in RPS, isn't he? Shh, don't tell OCC people then. No, because he's, he's keep it quiet. Yeah, it's clearly just the uh, the. Uh... Oh, and by the way, talking of RPS, I'll be doing an RPS show um, on Monday, Monday night. M maybe not Monday night. Maybe. And not. we'll be doing um, pony. Oh, actually, maybe Monday night. Maybe on Monday will be fine. No, no, um, maybe not Monday night after all. We'll see. Oh, I'm gonna uh, say we and we, the the hype for pony starts now because. Uh, We'll be doing that in September as well. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, both of my uh, OCC opponents want to play on Monday now. Um, ah. So it might not be Monday for the uh, RPS recap. When I say both of mine, I'm obviously, I mean yours and mine. Yes. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, Bam beat uh, Nibblin 1 0. I think was Nibblin Which... talking. Uh, so Danton and Nibblin were talking on the server and Nibblin was saying he's he has yeah, he's sick, he, sick of it all, he, isn't he? He really doesn't want to play Blood Bowl. He's gonna he's thinking about not playing Blood Bowl for like two years or something, maybe a year. Um was what he said. Um so yeah, this might be the the loss of someone who isn't paying in full attention to the game. Yeah, he doesn't care anymore. No. Yeah, I mean it's 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 the end of the summer, people have got better things to do, I'm sure, with their time. And again, it's kind of like, oh, really? This bloody game? I mean, personally, but... you know, it's so hot that I'm I'm happier to be inside, not, you know, not going outside when it's this hot. This is too hot for me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Guido played him in, in Clan, Rebel Clan, and he is really down on me, yeah. Yeah. He was, That's... yeah. He was basically... No, we can't say it, can we? We better not, we better not say that on the OCC recap in case... Uh, you no, know. you shouldn't say that on the OCC recap, yeah. but... Um, yeah, he's yeah, a bit, a, a, perhaps a bit like Giraffe is feeling. And like I said, I'm sure other coaches are feeling like that. It's towards the end of the season. 
you're not feeling it anymore. So it's you know you know you're still going to turn up for your games, of course, uh, but heart's not in it anymore. Yeah, and it does affect it does affect your game, you know, because usually the first little mistake or dice don't go your raid, and you think, oh well, who cares now? It doesn't matter. I mean, also just yeah. just not paying 100 percent attention is is often a way of just getting beaten, right? So, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, not not counting those squares. Yeah. Just being a bit a bit laissez faire or uh you know whatever about it. Uh so uh two people will uh, be will be happy with Niblin's unhappiness so have you looked to see who those two people were? I'm looking right now. Um they are me and Spider. Yeah. Thought you'd enjoy that. Thirty two and forty two. Oh. Sp- spider spider <laughs> dwarfing Bumping. Uh, actually, Glencio's on 41. And I've got to say, Phil Adeus, considering he only joined us like a yeah. week or two ago, is he, I think, he, really he, well, I think he? he would be winning if it wasn't for the lateness with which he joined us. Yeah, and I think definitely looking at the screen now, I think we definitely, well, you need to get a better internet provider. And the other thing we need to do is have some sort of chart that we can automate, I think. Yeah. Because, yeah, it's not, it was fine when there was like four, four of us, but there's like, Lots now. Oh, so. does it look really uh, pixelated as well? Is that what you're saying? Can you? No, actually... no, it's, yeah, it's, okay. it, I, I, it, it looks clear, but um, all right, fine. But yeah, but your your desktop looks pixelated. Yes, that's fine. That's good. I'd like it to be more pixelated. If I can pixelate that bit even more, that'd be good. Okay. Um. Oh, and the last game of the week, RTSD's Jump of All Stars against Back to Back Killstad was also an admin result. Oh. As admin result for the vampires, but I also th- I also think RTSD is around. Maybe he was was he on holiday last week? And he Maybe just, he's on holes. He just got back. I think he just yeah. got back. Uh, because, yeah. He's not the, yeah, he's not. Um, he strikes me as a mentally strong coach, so I don't think he quits. You know, mid season or something like that. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Um, so that so no one gets any points for that, and we can't talk about it, which is fine. No. Which is fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just checking the um, absences thread on the champs, but yeah, nothing posted for anyone. So. But that concludes the betting, which means okay. I should. I'm going to copy those points into uh, the channel where we do that, so that you can yes. look them up next time or completely ignore them, which is probably. Yeah. And actually, well, no, I, no, you're not, because next, I, cause next I, I'm doing I, it, aren't I? Anyway. Well, you're doing it next as well, because yeah. um, I'll be on holiday. Um, yeah, Guido is playing RTSD on Tuesday next week, so RTSD is, is back. Back in time to play your your elves. He was yeah. on holiday. Lucky you, Guido. I'm sure you're very happy about his horrible, well, his horrible Nurgle team. But Davo said he didn't know how to play against agility. So yeah, yeah, he's he's, he's not a fan of. Uh, I've I've been with pro elves in in uh, in. Uh, what is it? Um, o, 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 OFL as well. OFL. Yeah. O L W. Yeah, O F O F L. Old World Football. Right. So this come and uh, and there's a few levels that, from those games that have been taken. Uh, well, excellent. Both that's, both that's the right. vampires and and Nurgle get levels by not playing their game, which is just sickening. Um, we'll we'll go we'll go through them. You know, we'll go through the as, the, as they come up. As they come up, yes. Yeah. So the first game is um, two Gs Gelbeck against Gimlik. The Roughnecks Holiday against the Silver Lords of Altmer. Okay, so, so if this is going to happen. Oh yeah, uh, because uh, was was Gimlik the one who was away last? Was one of the ones who was away last week? Yeah, uh, Gelbeck, isn't it? I think. Oh, Gelbeck was away. Oh yeah, yeah, he's gone. Uh, yeah, All right, fine. Hype. Oh, I just seen the pony thing. Yeah, yeah. Which one was? Yeah. All right, cool. Um. So Gelbeck got a level up on a on a rookie blitzer who was newly replaced recently. Did that maybe bring him back? He's got only eleven players, but does have a bit of money. Uh well guard, I guess. Um yeah. or dodge on double. But yeah, the fact he's taking guard on all the others first skill. Bit of a clue. Um I guess he takes any stats as well. Uh, yeah. that, that puts him at sixteen seventy. Against Gimlik, who is actually on seventeen fifty, so uh, ATTV difference between them. 
Well, I think I went for draw with this one. Uh, I did indeed go for a draw with this one. I'm changing it mm. to the high odds. I, I say Gimlick. Gimlick I, was, all the way me from. I was the only person who hadn't picked Gimlick up to this point. There are now, oh, there's now, now like... 100% of the bets are for the high elves. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, well, I'm going to have to switch it then. I'll switch out to uh, Gelbeck. Although I, don't think, I think it's going to be ad, an admin. Yeah, possibly. So it won't make any difference. Um, let's just have a quick look at the leaderboard. Edo is top, then Andy. Quite a few points, actually. Edo, you're three points ahead. Uh, yes, Gelbeck has been MIA uh, from OCC for the last week and a bit. But he might be on holiday. He might He might be on OCC holiday. Holiday from OCC. You know, yeah, the worst thing about me subbing in for you, you know, is having to... Um, having to check the OCC th threads in two different places. It's bad enough, you know. Yeah, but... We should force people to, to join Discord instead. Yeah. Oh, and but... Andy's playing uh, BAM this week as well, which is, in fact, the next game. So yeah, uh, we'll look at that. That is uh, quite an important one. Yeah. Poor Danton. Actually, it's really close. All of those bottom five are on six points. Yeah. I mean, he's, Danton's not written off yet, I don't think. That's ridiculous. I'll take the um, take the scores off. Oh, yeah. Good point. Maybe. Sorry, I meant to do that earlier. That's all right. Uh, in fact, no, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. There we go. I changed size a little bit. Should I make them the same size? Or should I just like... Anyway, yeah. Um, all right, sorry. So, uh, where were we? Let's have a look. Yeah, we've already looked at the Gimlick versus Roughneck, so let's do Bam against Justice Philippe then. So, Bam are at home, old one. Right, so I'm just getting the epilepsy from your um, points going up and off again. Yeah, which means there is a wizard shop in play. Oh. He's actually 1800 because he's got so much money. And Andy is on 2070. With a full team. Wow, two full elf teams. Actually, no, no, sorry. The, uh, the Dark Elves are on 10. He could, but So he could buy... Did he lose the blitzer? I think he's only got three blitzers. No, he's got four blitzers. I can't count. No, he's mixing them up, doesn't he? I think two. No, they're all in a row. He could replace the movement buffs blitzer. Um, well, he's only a rookie, isn't he? So I probably would do that, to yeah, be honest. Exactly. One SPP is worth losing to get a better blitzer. He... A great name, though. Whitney, you stunned. Ah! Oh! That is pretty good. Uh, you think buy another witch, Guido? Yeah, I mean, like I think one witch is actually pretty good. I think you know I don't yeah. mind. I don't mind not going to two if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't. I'd, I'd, I'd quite like to get a lineman, even just just buy another lineman so you got eleven players and you aren't wasting the bank. The, yeah, the problem with the witch's defense is because she'll be a rookie witch. She's going to be on the second line at some point. Yes, you've got two. So that's a free AV7 hit, isn't it? I mean, you've already got six players who you really want to. Well, let's say five players at least that you want to protect, right? You've already got the Witch, Lineman, the Edgy Five Lineman with Guard, the Runner with Edgy, and the, the two well skilled Blitzers, right? And you probably want the Strength Guard one to be well protected too. You've like, got too many players to protect as it is. Getting a Witch, I think, is a bad idea. I think, I think Lineman, even two Linemen. So yeah, you have, so you have a bench. Lemon always help. Yeah. And like, you know, at least one of them is is practically free because of that spare bank, right? Yeah. Which is what Andy thought. Yeah, Andy likes witches a lot though. Um, because surfing. In it. Uh, we didn't really look at Andy's team very much, but basically he's still got a frenzy strip. Plus strength tackle sidestepping war dancer. 
uh, and some other stuff. A plus strength catcher that I'm not a fan of, but he's given block, which I'm also not a fan of. Uh, and sure hands. And sure hands. Which you can guess okay. what I think of that. Yeah, you're not a fan. No. I mean, I guess maybe this team needs sure hands and you level at the right time. Yeah, it's it's a choice. Yeah. But I don't, oh, I don't know. I mean, I guess he's going to be the receiver now, isn't he? Or the, yeah, he's going to receive, pick it up, and then he's the one that's going to move it around. You, you mean the, so. yeah, the, the, the ball recovery, let's ball say. recovery piece, yeah. Yeah. Well, definitely, we'll kick off return next, maybe. Like, but I, I you know, what's the point of giving him strength? If you, if you, if he's the ball recoverer, he's probably not getting punched. You know, you should be protecting him a bit. You know, the strength, yeah. to me, to, to utilise a strength on a catcher, you want to make him a sacker. Yeah, you're going to give him a uh, wrestle, tackle, strip. Yeah, right. That's what I'd be thinking about. A pseudo dancer. Yeah, that's what you want. But but basically, that's the reason I wouldn't give him strength is I don't think strength works for for woody catchers. They've already got enough strength three on other places. It's not it's not worth the fifty k, in my opinion. You know, because he's definitely got better sack op- op- options with this mm. team, right? But I, you know, it's good to have redundancy built in. Because they do die, don't they? So, mm. I, 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 I agree with you. But on the other hand, I don't think I could turn down a strength three catcher either. I didn't the first time, and then I, I found it was less useful than I hoped. And that's why I'm. That's I, I, well, you, I am you're against it. I'm a hundred percent certain that I can't gain value out of that player, and that is why I don't like them. So, if he gets value out of it, then fine. Yeah. But if you're, just, if you're just taking it because the dice told you to, that's a bad choice, I think. Imho. Imho. They're both getting a wizard. Uh, oh. Even if Bam buys two players, he's still going to be the lower TV team by uh, 150. Mm. What's, what's Bam's removal potential? Uh, I think he's got some mighty blow. No, no mighty blow. Mm. So you're thinking, um, don't don't buy it. So buy one line uh, elf. So it takes you to eleven, and you're not just throwing away fifty bank. And then you have two hundred inducements, and you can get hubris. Yeah, I mean you could do. Yeah, but he, hubris hasn't got a tackle. He does have mighty blow though. And strip ball, which is kind of useful. Yeah, I mean, again, I guess Birmingham's old, old ones relying on removals. Isn't uh, he? Javelin says that Wood Elf team is strong, yeah. stronger than my Necro team. Absolutely. Yeah, fair. It's, it's, Andy's going to be hard to start. I mean, he's good. I mean, that's, but this team's also pretty well built, isn't it? Apart from the aforementioned strength three catcher, which I mean, is but which, you know, if, if he get, if he gets hashtag controversial, if he gets use out of it, then it's not controversial. It's purely my no, no, yeah, it's, yeah. yeah, it's controversial to 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 a, 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 the commentary box. But like you say, if he gets use out of it, then it's the right choice, isn't mm-hmm. it? Yeah. Um... Oh, tough one. I think Andy, though. I think looking at the teams. So the betting so far is four people have gone for Andy. Oh, and no, no four, I'm tempted to go for old one. Four, I'll go for old one then. Four people have gone for a draw, and now Ethelred is the first person to go for old one. Both having a wizard is interesting, isn't it? Mm. It's going to be a game of cat and mouse. I do think I do think Andy is better at that. I'm going to stick with the draw, but. Um, yeah, he thinks he knows a better time it, to strike. It's a it's a close one. I mean, a draw a draw is good for everyone else in the league. Yeah, and there have been a lot of draws. Okay, so the next game is Guido's game right. against RTSD. So RTSD Guido, Guido. has a level. Okay, he has a level on Pig God, the Beast of Nurgle, who so oh, far heavy. has stand firm and guard. So this is either a double or a waste of time, right? There's, yeah. there's very little actually good after those two skills, in my opinion. Uh, 
Again, yeah. I'm talking about my Guard ability to make use of them. Yeah. So he needs double. He needs that block. Possibly. I oh, know. I just he doesn't even have the money. I was, I was thinking, could he just could he you know fire him? Yeah, block? replace him. <laughs> uh, Guido says, please not block. <laughs> Oh, Guido points out that Andy does have a one turn potential, whereas the Dark Elves probably don't. Well, they do, um, but it be some dice. I've changed my vote to Andy. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, break, break, break wait, 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 going back, going back, going back, going oh, back. Sorry, so Andy doesn't have a natty, does he? He's got a movement nine, sprint sure feet one, right? Which is good, but it's not a natty. Oh, and he does have a grab tree. Because I was thinking the old one probably has three side steppers, which makes the... Yeah, he does. He has loads of side step. Yeah, makes the um, the T shape, or whatever you want to call it, easier to make. Well, no, grab... Like, it depends. Old one can, can use side step to stop the one turn, right? Ah, uh, right. Okay, got you. Uh, but Andy can use... Could, could do a, a tree blitz... To, to get a push with grab because grab stops the sidestep. Mm -hmm. Quick snap makes it an easy one turn, otherwise, you need that space. Yeah, I think I think the dark elves can at least make it very hard for, for a one turn to happen, even with the grab tree. Mm. I'm going back to a draw again. Sorry, flip flopping. <laughs> All right, now let's go back to this horrific okay. Nurgle team. RTSD, let's have a look. Um, so he doesn't have well, much, yeah, so much in the way Javelin of money. Said, yeah, Javelin said break tackle. Uh, yeah, break tackle's alright, but you're like you're relying on not rolling really stupid, which is a two plus, and then succeeding another two plus, and he's got loner, so you don't want to re-roll either of those. So the chances. That you take your player out, uh, like you've got a thirty percent chance that you're just removing your player from broadly the uh, you know at least two turns of the drive, if you if you break tackle and it doesn't work. I I really hate mm. that. Um, I think with tents, well, it's it's a hard one, isn't it? Because if you can get in a good position with your tents, that's what you, that's where you want to be. So ideally, you don't want anything stuck to it before yeah, you, you choose to do it right maybe break tackle so, is, is worth it yeah no break tackle is worth it because there are times where you need to get tense on something um so you know yeah but like i hate those turns i hate yeah, you know, last when your only think, option is is to is to probably break what, tackle three, gfi three, two or something you know yeah two three, pluses are fine they never go wrong three two pluses is about 50 percent to go wrong so it's a 50 50 yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. Get away from that one lineman that's tying up, maybe. Yeah, okay, but yeah, break, break tackle, and also break tackle does do that. Um, that mental thing of like, um, some people actually, you know, play around it a bit more. Yeah. I definitely pay attention to break tackle as, as much as I can. Yeah, which is something again you can overlook quite easily, isn't it? Yeah. So. But yeah, it's, it's going to, as, as uh, Guido says, it's going to be a game of running around, hiding from the wizard, yeah. using the wizard, trying to find a, a space, really. Yeah, so 15 players, 2140 against Guido's, uh, where are they? Uh, 1570 at the moment. Right. Uh, you do have a bit of bank, so you can um, buy another player, save yourself a bit of money. Three players down, so actually 1780. 1760 once the bank's gone. There won't be any cage, screens and hiding. Mm. And a wizard. What did I say? 1760. So yeah. uh, 380 TV of inducements for the high elves. And obviously, um. obviously that's a wizard, right? It's a wizard, definitely, yeah. I don't think stars would be good in this, but probably just extra linemen, right? Merc liners. Maybe one with Fend or D DP. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to spend that much on a... Uh, what about... Uh, what's his name? Do High Elves get... Um, 
uh, Moranian, Dolphar. Dolphar. Do- I mean, Dolphar's got um, Hail Mary. Yeah. So if you, you get about the stink that way. And like kick off a turn and kick. He's he's got some useful skills for one fifty. Yeah. When when a high elf lineman costs you a hundred anyway, paying fifty more for a bunch of extra skills, it's not necessarily terrible. No, but it says Moranian to punch a hole, which I can understand. But now he's, he's going to double screen, surely, isn't he? RTSD only has two tackle players, so maybe, maybe Eldril is not a bad choice. Yeah, well, he's, Eldril is a bad choice because if these players even look at Eldril, he's he's going to fall fall down in a dead faint, isn't he? But like you know, yes, probably, but. <laughs> if he if he gets off one hypno gaze before that happens, yeah, yeah you've got, you've got, he's done his job, hasn't he? Yeah, right, exactly. Earned his, earned his paycheck. Yeah, the threat of Eldril and what he brings to the team as well. Also, you know, don't forget Eldril's also, you know, catch and uh, nerves of steel. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. nerves still doesn't help with the thing. I actually, go for, I think I'd go for Eldril. Also, because you want to kind of be getting past the Nurgle, you know, without getting involved. And I yeah. think he helps with that. Yeah, uh, and I think I think Andy's opinion of RTSD is that, yeah, he, he can't cope with AG very well. So maybe Eldril, again, helps with that. Yeah, makes it even... I, I, I'm not even sure it's the AG. I think it's the movement, is he, uh, which, you know, I think with... With Nurgle struggle with, generally. You know, they're, yeah, they're a slow team. Yeah. Uh, a draw still Excuse keeps me, you on top. Me. Well, yeah, that is true. You are far enough ahead that a draw wouldn't be a bad result. But you want to win, Guido. Come on. I mean, there is nothing sweeter to beat than being full on bash as elves. Maybe those words mean I'm going to change my bet to a draw. No, no. I, I think I think you've got too many weapons. I think you should win this. All right. Next penultimate game of the mm-hmm. week. Is and I hear you yawning a lot, so I know that we've got to hurry up a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Is Kielstad who gained a level in his admin game against Wolfbark, um, who oh, lost, lost to Goblin. Yeah, uh, I think it's I think 15, I, I think I watched this game last season and uh, last time they played, it was really enjoyable. Uh, uh, good, a good one. Yeah, Guido says he won 2 0 last time I, against I, against RTST. I assume that is. So yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, all right, so uh, Kielstad got a level up on a block armor bust thrall. Right. Um, six skull. I mean, that's a du- that is double, but yeah, sure. He's already got he's already got kick. I mean, you could get wrestle. You know, it's kind of fun to be able to pick between block and wrestle. Yeah, which one? Uh, he's already Absolutely. he's kind of got enough tackle, right? Yeah. Uh, he's got quite a lot of money as well. Maybe it's time to actually. Replace some of these garbage thralls, yeah. or thralls. or is it time to buy a sixth vampire again? Oh, is it ever time to buy a sixth vamp? It's always time to have a sixth vamp. Six vamps are what, like six strength four players are what make vamps great, and mm. and five strength four players and a strength six player is also pretty sweet. Just saying. Uh, and he's yeah, he's got like thirteen players, so he's got lots of thralls. He could even buy a vamp and another thrall and go up to fifteen God. players. Why not? Yeah, I think he should. I think that. I think he should. Yeah, throw throw some cash at it, Kiel. So you got two games left, three games left. Um, but I don't know what to do with that level. It's it's bad, whatever it is. So Oof, yeah, it's bloat, isn't it? No matter what. So maybe just recycle. I mean, he's got thirty k in the bank, hasn't he? He needs dirty so... player. Give him a give him dirty player. Dirty player and, and yeah, DP's you know. be fine. Then the armor doesn't matter so much because you'll probably be leaving the pitch anyway. So. Yeah, exactly. Against Wolfbark, and uh, I have voted Wolfbark, but the majority bet at the moment is the draw. Uh, Wolfbark's team has been looking the same pretty much for a little while. He lost to Goblin last game, and that is all. Uh... Yeah, two hor- horrific killers who carry on with just their two movement buffs and you know, ca- you know, getting loads of thingies. Uh, a pretty good blodge movement up thrower and a yeah. hail mary plus loads of other normals thrower. Cool. Nice team. Yeah, very nice. I've gone for woof. 
Yeah, me too. It's simple. Uh, they are at Kielstad's ground. I'm not sure what he's got as his... Uh, he has the magic dome, so weather is always nice. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I'm sticking with Wolf Bark. Yeah, same here. I can't... Just... Yeah, I don't like Vamps anymore. I really like Vamps, but that... You know, his coaching is too good. Uh, and Nibbanen, who doesn't care anymore, and therefore no one has voted for him. Yeah, against versus Danton. Danton. Maybe everyone who's who's on the uh, server saw the the conversation Ex between the two of them. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, exchange was exactly, was exactly the word I was about to say. Uh, Nibbanen uh, did, in fact, get a level up. Two level ups. One on a movement bust, agi bust, chore. And the other one who's getting guard. So I see you. It's, it's yeah. still a really good team. You know, it's kind of sad. It's sad to imagine that a coach could not be happy playing this team. You know, if you see what I mean. Yeah, it's, it's, it's for, for what it's meant to be doing. Then, yeah, it's, um, it is good. Yeah. I'd love to play that team. Uh, I'd love to play as that team, but not yeah. play that team, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. Um, and the sad humans who's uh, uh, with the slightly nobbled Fekka, who's no longer a, a one turner anymore. Um, but yeah, betting. Oh, actually, there's more bets for the draw than for Danton, but I'm sticking with Danton. Mm, I think Danton's got this. No one's bet well. for Nib Nibbanen. No. Um, which is sad. Okay, that is it. Say two. Say two indeed. Uh, oh, I've been pinged. Oh, no way. Okay, find the ways. Uh, do you know who else is on? Uh, I do, if you give me a second. Racia. I'm looking as well. Long. Okay. Jimmy. Yep, I see Jimmy too. Uh, Davo, was, I think, was on earlier. No, he's not on anymore. Not anymore. Um, Fight Soul Flight. Or Girl with Glasses. No viewers so far. Girl with glasses. Is that the actual name of the? That is indeed. Oak Skull Two Game Six: The Umbral Tide. Do you want? Yeah. You actually want to raid that person? Well, we, why we, not? They might be. They might just be terrible. They probably are. Okay, fine, fine. They're, so we're going to raid that person. With do you know how many viewers we've got as well? Are we just like sending. We've got um, a handful. We had, we had six last time I looked. So okay. maybe seven. All right, fine. All right, so Jimmy is on, Fights Off Light is on, Shiraitakai is on, uh, Hindi's on, uh, Chimera is on, uh, Morphe's, uh, Vim Miranda. There's loads of pretty good. Uh, and uh, Moomin Slayer as well, if you'd like a bit of metal with your bearded Blood Bowl player. Uh, but we will uh, raid Girl with Glasses. Punk is the only music. What did you say? Punk? Punk. Punk? Punk, yeah. Oh, shoot. Everyone's hearing me click on her channel while I try and uh, copy and paste uh, raid. All right, thank you for watching me bundle through this. Whoa, what just happened? What did just happen? Uh, I don't know, but I've lost... Uh, do you want to allow this app to change your... No, let's just do no for now. Not sure what happened there, but I think I I misclicked on something. Uh, oh, oh, I know what I did. Yeah, no worries. Uh, I shortcutted something. All right. So here we are. We're going to send three, four remaining viewers to go with glasses and, uh, uh, you know, enjoy your time there. New mummy means. Uh, Thank you. Okay. Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. Yes. There we are. All right, cool. They might have heard bits of... Uh... All right, oh, I should stop that now as well, shouldn't I?